Max and Ruby. Max and Ruby! Ruby writes a story. There, a perfectly sharpened pencil. I can hardly wait to start writing my story. I have so many ideas. Let's see, do I have everything I need? Sharp pencils, a brand new eraser, lots of clean white paper, and a nice quiet place. Now I'm ready to write. Now, how should the story start? Hmm. Once upon a time. Of course! Every great story starts with once upon a time. Once upon a time, there was a... a cowboy. I'm sorry, Max. I don't have time to play cowboy right now. I'm writing a story. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Once upon a time, there was a... a... Cowboy. <sighs> Max, why don't you play cowboy upstairs in your room? I need quiet so I can concentrate. There, now I can write my story. Writing a story sure can make you thirsty. Now I can begin my story. Let's see, where was I? Oh yes, once upon a time there was a beautiful princess. Perfect! Once upon a time there was a beautiful princess. And then what? Hmm. Cowboy! Max, I'm trying to write a story. It's hard to concentrate when you're playing your home on the range harmonica. Why don't we find you something quiet to play with? Hmm. Let's see. I know. Why don't you play with your flipping chicks? There, that's much better than playing cowboy and much quieter. Writing a story sure can make you hungry. That's much better. Now I can write my story. Let's see, where was I? Oh yes, once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. No wait, not a beautiful princess. A mysterious mermaid, perfect. Once upon a time, there was a mysterious mermaid. And then what happened? Hmm. Yaw, yaw. Yaw, yaw, yaw. Yaw, yaw. Whoa. 
Max, it's hard to make up a story when you're hurting your flipping chicks through the kitchen. If you want to play cowboy, you can play outside. Here you go, Max. There's plenty of room for you to play cowboy out here. Whoa! to write my story, but you keep interrupting. First, you came in playing cowboy songs in your home on the range harmonica. Then you herded flipping chicks through the kitchen on your hobby horse. Yaw, yaw. Then you lost you to run away lobster like you're a rootin' tootin' cowboy. No wonder I can't think of what comes next in my story. I only get to once upon a time, there was a... Cowboy! <gasps> That's it! I know what my story's going to be about! Come on, Max. You can help me. Once upon a time, there was a... Cowboy! Yeehaw! <laughs> Max's Dominoes. You have to set the dominoes up very carefully, Max. There. Now watch this. Again! Sorry, Max, but I can't play dominoes anymore. Louise and I are going to earn our hospitality badge by hosting this afternoon's Bunny Scout meeting. <gasps> that must be Louise now. Morris is with her, so you two can play while we prepare for the meeting. Hi, Louise. Hi, Morris. Won't you please come in? Why, thank you, Ruby. You're a wonderful hostess. Thanks, Louise. I have so many ideas for today's Bunny Scout meeting. Me too. Wait till you see what I brought. I can't decide which tablecloth to put out. Which do you like, Louise? Hmm, they're both so pretty. Dominoes! Again! You're absolutely right, Louise. This tablecloth is perfect. Do you remember what we have to do to get our hospitality badge? A good hostess serves refreshments. And a good hostess also makes beautiful decorations. And most importantly, a good hostess always, always stays, stays calm when things go wrong. Again! Max, there are dominoes all over the floor. Remember, Ruby, a good hostess 
always stays calm when things go wrong. You're right, Louise. Max, you and Morris will have to play with another toy while Louise and I get ready for our meeting. I have a recipe for delicious no-bake cookies. You make them with cocoa and honey and coconut and granola. And marshmallows, my favorite. And then we'll shake on candy sprinkles. What are you using for decorations, Ruby? I collected lots of autumn leaves and pine cones to make a beautiful centerpiece. Oh, Ruby, they will be beautiful. I'll start mixing the cookies. And I'll make the centerpiece. Hostess always serves refreshments, and these cookies look delicious, Louise. Thanks, Ruby. We'll put on the candy sprinkles just before the Bunny Scouts arrive. A good hostess always makes beautiful decorations, and your centerpiece is beautiful, Ruby. Max, we want everything to be perfect so we can get our hospitality badge. So you boys will have to play quietly while we have our Bunny Scout meeting. The Bunny Scout meeting! We have to change into our uniforms. We'd better hurry. The Bunny Scouts should be here any second. I hope I have time to put sprinkles on the cookies. They're, They're here. here! I'll finish the cookies. I'll get the door. Hello, Bunny Scout Ruby. Welcome, Bunny Scouts. Won't you please come in? Why, thank you, Ruby. It's my pleasure. Do you remember everything you have to do to earn your hospitality badge? A good hostess always serves refreshments. Louise is in the kitchen right now putting the finishing touches on her cookies. A good hostess always makes beautiful decorations. And if you come this way... I have decorated the dining room especially for the meeting. <gasps> Max! Where did all these toys come from? And where did my candy sprinkles go? Remember, Bunny Scouts, the most important thing a good hostess does. A, a good, good hostess, hostess always stays calm when, when things, things go wrong. wrong. That's right. Don't worry, everyone. I'll have this cleaned up in no time at all. Oops. Bunny Scouts, you've earned your hospitality badge. Dominoes! Again! Yes, yes again. again! Grab 
Grandma's attic. Here it is. This is my attic. It's much bigger than I thought. Too big and too full. Too full? I could spend all day up here. Couldn't you, Max? Treasure! Look at that! Nobody's been into that chest for years. No, Max. <laughs> Now, would you like to pick out some clothes to play dress-up in? <gasps> oh, Grandma, can we? You can play while I do my spring cleaning downstairs. I'll come back up in a while to see how you're doing. All right, Grandma. This is going to be so much fun. Don't you think so, Max? Treasure. No, Max. That's Grandma's special box. Come on. Let's play dress up. Where should we start? I know. Look, Max. It's all frilly and lacy. Do I look like a princess? Treasure. No, Max. Grandma said nobody ever goes into her special box. I just have to see what this dress looks like on me. <gasps> oh, my! Why, certainly you may have this dance, kind prince. <laughs> what are you doing, Matt? Treasure. Let's find something for you to try on, Max. Here's some of Grandpa's old clothes. Let's play store. You can be the customer. Now let me see. These look like just your size, sir. like your pants could use some alterations, sir. There. Perfect. Can I interest you in anything else, sir? Look what I found, Max. Max? No, Max. It's not a treasure chest. It's Grandma's special box, and you're not allowed to look in it. Thank you. I've got something that's just right for you, sir. Once again, a perfect choice, if I do say so myself. Those look like hat boxes, Max. Let's see if we can find some nice hats. Too flowery. Too feathery. Now this is fit for a princess. I'll save the last dance for you, my prince. But first, I have to see what Max is up to. Max? Max? Have you seen Grandma's special box? Treasure! <sighs> Let's find you a hat too, Max. Try this on. 
Hmm. No. Too wintry. Definitely not right for my prince. There you go, sir. That will be five dollars. Ding! Thank you for shopping with us, sir. And have a pleasant day. Hmm. I wonder if Grandma has any fancy old shoes to go with this dress. <gasps> oh, these are definitely fit for a princess. Aren't I graceful and whoa, whoa? Elegant, Max. You need shoes too, Max. Shoes complete the outfit. Maybe Grandpa's shoes are in the cupboard. Look, Max. I found Grandpa's fancy dress shoes. You put them on while I look for a purse. ago. And look at you, Max. You look like somebody else I know. Grandpa. Your grandpa and I wore those same outfits to the annual bunny hop. This is one memory I'll always treasure. Treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Max's Thanksgiving. Ooh, look who's here! My favorite grandchildren! Hi, Grandma! You're just in time. Our Thanksgiving dinner is almost ready. at all these special things. Well, Thanksgiving is a very special day. Because we're saying thank you for all the wonderful things we have. Right, Grandma? That's right, Ruby. <gasps> Isn't that what I think it is? Yes, that's my Thanksgiving stuffing. What's in it? All kinds of yummy things like nuts and berries and a few secret ingredients. Stuffing! No, Max. You have to wait until Thanksgiving dinner. What can we do to help, Grandma? You're in charge of setting the table and putting out the decorations. I'll put out the decorations. Here, Max. You can start by putting the forks on the table. Now, which decorations should I put out first? Oh, the cornucopia. That's my favorite. Hmm, let's see. Where should you go? This is a cornucopia, Max. A cornucopia is also called a horn of plenty because it's filled with plenty of delicious vegetables and fruits.
Stuffing! Max, you can't eat stuffing now. You have to wait for Thanksgiving dinner. Here, put these spoons on the table. Dried corn cobs. Grandma has all the best things. Look, Max. Dried corn cobs. This isn't the kind of corn you eat. It's just for show. You can tell because of all the different colors. Stuffing! <gasps> Max! What are you doing? Stuffing! The stuffing is for Thanksgiving dinner, Max. Here, put these big serving spoons on the table. What else should I put on Grandma's table? Gourds! Perfect! Look what I have, Max. Do you know what this is? It's a gourd. Gourds are kind of like squash, but we're going to use these ones for decorations. Look at this one, Max. It looks a little like a swan, doesn't it? I'll put this one near Grandma. This one looks like a beach ball. I'll put it near you. And this one looks like a genie's lamp. I'll put it near me. We aren't just thankful for food at Thanksgiving. We're thankful for beautiful things, too. We have so much to be thankful for. Now, what's missing? I know just what we need, and I even know how to make it. Stuffing! <laughs> Max, what are you doing? Stuffing! I know you can't wait to eat Grandma's stuffing, Max. Of all the yummy things we're thankful for, it's one of the yummiest. But soon we'll be ready to sit down to dinner, and then you can have as much as you like. Would you like to help me make the last decoration, Max? Watch this, Max. We learned how to do this in Bunny Scouts. You draw around your hand like this, then you put some red here, and draw an eye here. And look, a turkey. Thanksgiving decorations aren't complete without a turkey for the table. What do you think, Max? 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 Why are you at that bowl? Stuffing. Soon, Max. The table is ready, Grandma. Good! So is Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, I can't wait to see how you've decorated the table. Oh, my! Everything looks so beautiful. You did a wonderful job, Ruby. And you too, Max. Now it's time to enjoy our lovely Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, that's funny. I thought I made more stuffing than that. Max, aren't you going to eat Thanksgiving dinner and say thank you with us? No, thank you. Why not? Stuffed. Oh, <laughs> Max! Max's pretend friend. 
Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? Careful you don't run into my garden, Max. You might hurt the flowers. I think you should play airplane somewhere else. With silver bells and cockle shells. at Max. Friend! I don't see anyone. Friend! Oh, I see. You mean pretend friend. I had a pretend friend when I was little. Her name was Audrey. Hello, Max's pretend friend. Oh, excuse me. Nice to meet you. <laughs> friend! Friend! Oh, how silly of me. Of course, your pretend friend is over here. Hello, I'm Max's big sister, Ruby. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. I like playing with your pretend friend, Max. <gasps> I know! Let's have a pretend tea party. I'll ask my pretend friend, Audrey, to come. Would you like to join us for a tea party, Audrey? Great! Audrey says she'd love to. Come on! Yeah. Wait! Pretend friends first, Max. After you, Audrey. Friend! Yes, Max, please let your pretend friend in, too. Audrey and I will get things ready for the tea party. Does your pretend friend want a blue teacup or a yellow teacup? Friend! Blue? That's good. Audrey wants the yellow one. You can have the green one. That leaves the red one for me. Ready to go outside, everyone? What's that, Audrey? Audrey thinks we should get a blanket that we can spread out on the grass for our tea party. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Friend! You're right, Audrey. This blanket is just perfect. <gasps> Max! What happened? Friend! Oh, your friend knocked the teacups over, did he? Please ask him to play more carefully next time, okay, Max? Yes, Audrey. Boys will be boys. Come on, Audrey. Let's choose a nice spot by the sandbox. Come on, Max! Friend! Would you like one lump or two in your tea? Two? Me too! There you are, Audrey. Tea time, Max! Here's one for you and one for your pretend friend, Max. Oh, isn't this a lovely tea party? Oh my goodness! You're right, Audrey. We forgot cookies. You play with your pretend friend until Audrey and I get back. Oh! <gasps> 
How did your fire truck get there? Friend! Max, please tell your friend it's not polite to drive a fire truck through a picnic tea party. What's that, Audrey? I couldn't agree with you more. A nice centerpiece would add just the right touch. Let's get some flowers from the garden. Audrey says you should come too so she can keep an eye on you. Friend? Audrey, which flowers would look best? You like marigolds? Me too! I planted lots right here. Now where did I put my gloves? That's funny. I had two just a minute ago. Max! How did that glove get way over there? Friend! You can't keep blaming your pretend friend for everything, Max. You know who really moved my garden glove. Friend! Pretend friends aren't real. They're made up. Like I made up Audrey and you made up your pretend friend. Pretend friends don't knock over teacups or drive fire trucks through picnic tea parties. And pretend friends don't move garden gloves from here to... <gasps> Froggy! <laughs> friend! <laughs> Fireman Max. Bunny Scout, Bunny Scout, dressed in green. Wave to Bunny Scout leader, curtsy for the queen. Now count all the way to number 13. One, two, three. <laughs> You're really good at jumping rope, Louise. You almost made it to the very end of the rhyme. Thanks, Ruby. Now it's your turn to try. All right. Ready? Ready. with you right now, Max. I'm practicing jumping rope. Bonnie Scout, Bonnie Scout, dressed in green. Fireman! Oh! Max, learning to jump rope is very difficult. I have to concentrate really hard. That's why I need you to go play fireman somewhere else. All right? Thank you, Max. Try again, Ruby. It just takes a little practice. A good bunny scout never gives up. Right, Louise? Right. somewhere else. I need to practice jumping rope. The Bunny Scouts are having a jump-a-thon. That's right. And I want to do my best. Do you understand? Thank <laughs> you. 
Start again, Ruby. Bunny Scout, Bunny Scout, dressed in green. Wave to Bunny Scout leader, curtsy for the queen. Watch out, Max! Oh! Fireman! Max, you can't play with the hose. It's getting in the way. Bunny Scout leader is coming over to see if we're ready for the jump-a-thon. Ready? Ready. Bunny Scout, Bunny Scout, dressed in green. <gasps> oh! You can't play fireman here, Max. Hmm. I've got an idea. Come on. Look, Max, you have lots of toys to play with right here. You can pretend there's a fire here in the sandbox and use all your emergency trucks to put it out. All right, Max? Good. Now I'm going to try to get right through to the end of the rhyme. Bunny Scout leader, curtsy for the queen. Now count all the way to number 13. Oh, no! One, two, three. Like someone's all ready for the jumpathon. And what a special way of practicing! <laughs>